Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, I'm going to be showing you why right after this video you should run to Dollar Tree if you don't have these in your stash already and pick a bunch of these burlap leaves up. These burlap leaves are not just good for fall and harvest decor. Oh no, no. Today I'm going to be showing you not only a fall and harvest decor piece, but a Christmas decor piece using these fall burlap leaves. These are DIYs you are not going to want to miss. You are going to love these. So go pick some of these up and do this DIY with me. I'm going to quit my cabin. Let's jump into it and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing with burlap leaves for fall and Christmas, because why not? Because we can, and that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yep, in the description box below. Jumping on into this DIY, I dove into my stash of burlap. Yeah, I do, I have a stash of that. Surprise, surprise, right? I pulled out this red burlap sheet. You will see on the bottom edge there that I actually folded it over and ironed it to give it a nice clean edge. Then I took my piece and I folded it in half, making it two layers thick. And on that bottom edge where I folded the burlap, I'm gonna cut at an angle. And I'm gonna go from wide to I guess thinner up the top there kind of giving me a cone shape. Now if you want to use fabric for this you can. If you want to use felt you can do that too. I really was just trying to use what was in my stash and I always look for an excuse to work with burlap. Once I've got it good and cut I'm going to take and run a bead of hot glue right along that edge gluing these two edges together and uh, using a silicone makeup applicator is the way to do that with burlap so you don't burn your fingers with that hot glue. Once those edges are good and adhered together, I'm gonna turn this right side out. Yeah, right side out because it was right side in, and now we have just made a burlap cone or a burlap hat. This here is one of Dollar Tree's cutting mats. You can see that it's an old one, one that I've used to paint on. I went ahead and used a ruler and drew out a triangle that I'm now going to cut out. A lot of times when I have cutting mats like this, I'll let them stack up when they're older if I can't clean them. And I always feel really bad about throwing them away. I was about to throw them away when I thought to myself, self, I don't have any cardboard, but I do have those cutting mats that I was about to throw away. That is going to work for this. And so yes, I am taking this trash and going to make it part of today's DIY treasure. Once I got this cut out on one of the cutting mats, you should be able to get two triangles. And that's what I did. Now, because I don't want the mess of my cutting mat to show, I dug into those scraps that I keep of burlap. I do, I keep those too, because you never know when they're gonna come in handy for say something like this. And I'm gonna cover that mess up a bit. There is a bit of burlap in this DIY, and so you'll see in a bit why I felt like I needed to cover this up. If you wanna paint it, you can. Again, if you wanna use cardboard, you can do that. Like I said, I was fresh out of cardboard, so this is gonna get the job done, and it was waste not, what not, right? And there will be a bit of patchwork on this. For this part, perfection is not needed, neatness is not needed, because it's really not gonna show all that much. This is more of a precaution than it is anything else. Dollar Tree has a great selection and variety of these burlap leaves that come in different colors, different styles. Today, I'm gonna stick with the beige, and yeah, I have a stash of these too. And to these beige ones, I am going to paint them white. Now, if you wanna try and paint the colored ones 
white because you're doing this DIY, it's probably gonna take a few coats. And I did find that some of the colored burlap bled through the white paint. So it's probably best to just go with the natural because there is no paint in this and it really did cover the burlap in one to two coats. Once you've got the coverage that you're happy with, while the paint is still wet, I'm gonna go in with some of this fine glitter and I'm gonna sprinkle it over the leaves. And because the paint is wet, the glitter is going to adhere to these leaves, giving it the sparkle and the shimmer that I'm looking for. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I am so not a glitter person. Glitter gets everywhere, it gets on your skin, it feels nasty, but for this DIY, I felt like it was a must and it's really gonna elevate it. I decided just to do a bit of cleanup and fine tuning. Because I cut this at an angle, the back there, there was kind of that point. And so I just kind of wanted to tuck it up in because for whatever reason, it was bothering me before I added my burlap triangle. I did paint that as well to the inside of this hat. Now your triangle, when you go to cut it, you're gonna cut it to the size of your hat. So it's gonna be different for everybody. I eyeballed this whole project. I'm gonna add some hot glue to the back side of this cutting mat and I'm gonna place it right inside of my hat, adhering it in there. Again, this really is to make this piece a bit more sturdy, give it some substance. And along with that substance, it's going to give us a place to adhere our leaves onto. So now you can see why I covered up the mess of the cutting mat and painted it white because sometimes when you're working with burlap, you can kind of see through the burlap. And the last thing I wanted to do was do this DIY, have it turn out cute, but then you saw the mess of my cutting mat. And so, yeah, that was why I did it. Again, this is a DIY that is super versatile. It could be done to suit any decor style. If you don't want to use burlap and you want to use fabric, you can. The burlap leaves are kind of a must unless you want to cut them out of something else. I think that the burlap leaves really add to the character and personality of this DIY and it's such a fun piece. I think for Santa's beard, I used a total of two packs of the larger leaves. This was another one of my favorite recent finds at Dollar Tree Crafter Square came out with these fur rolls in several different colors. And well, Santa's hat, it's got fur on the brim. So I went ahead, I cut a strip just to place there along, uh, yeah, the brim of Santa's hat. And when you cut this, yeah, it is messy. So you kind of need to pull away some of that fur because yeah, it kind of made a bit of a mess, but nonetheless, this is what we need for this DIY. So that's what we're gonna do. You might be able to use cotton too. I'm so excited about these mushrooms. I picked them up a couple months ago, wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but when I looked at them, I'm like, oh my goodness, these are perfect for a nose and they come apart. So I'm not gonna get just one nose out of this. Oh no, no, I'm gonna get two because the base and the top of the mushroom are going to make it fun. So to these, I went ahead and put them on a skewer and using that natural, I wanna say buff by Craftsmart, that's the color that I'm gonna use for Santa's nose. And it's gonna take a couple of coats because yeah, it was a darker color underneath, but nonetheless, wait for it, okay? This is so fun, I love these mushrooms. Oh my word, are you ready for how cute this is about to be? These mushrooms, yeah, the excitement is real. Make for the perfect nose for our gnome Santa. Oh my goodness, I was ecstatic when I was looking through my stash trying to find something I could use for a gnome nose and I came across these and I thought, self, these are perfect for this. Oh my goodness, yes! To the top of the hat, I'm gonna take some white twine and I'm gonna tie off the top, gathering it together because that's just what you need to do for Santa's hat. Crafter Square has come out with three or four different size pom-pom makers. This is the larger one. Pick them up because it makes making pom-poms so easy. 
Santa's hat definitely needs a pom-pom on the end. And so using some of Dollar Tree's yarn and Dollar Tree's pom-pom maker, that's what I'm gonna make. Yep, and put it right here. Now this yarn from Dollar Tree, it is a bit on the messier side. It frayed a lot, but at the same time, I really kind of liked the look of it. It kind of gave it more of a fluffier look than just your average everyday yarn by, what is it, red something? Well, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Dollar Tree has these white berry picks, and so I figured this would be the perfect embellishment to embellish Santa's hat with. But I'm not done because it's cold at the North Pole and Santa needs a bit of pink on his nose and trying to do it at the angle I was doing it, it came out a bit lopsided. So that was when I was like, oh heck, I just need to turn this toward me and fix his nose because yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, oh, here we go, touch that up a bit. And mm -hmm. good thing for paint, right? Oh, what am I using to put the pink on Santa's nose? I am using a Crayola oil pastel. Dollar Tree has oil pastels and a stiffer brush. It makes for giving it that soft, clouded, blended look versus using paint. And so yeah, I am done with this piece. Maybe I'm not because we need to hang this piece up. How am I gonna hang it? Well, I'm just gonna flip it over and add some twine and really pound it with hot glue so it doesn't fall. Now we can go take a look at this piece. Okay, I have to say it. This is so stinking cute. Haven't said that in a while. Now for the fall gnome, because if I'm making a Santa gnome, I've gotta make a fall one. It's that time of year, so why not? I went ahead and ironed in that bottom edge just like you see I did here. I probably didn't show it real well in the beginning. Truth be told, I was actually gonna put this one first in the video and then decided, no, I better do Santa first because, yeah. So after I've ironed in that edge and I folded it in half, you can see that I wanna go ahead and cut it at an angle. I know if this seems repetitive, it is. I really did this video with the intention of doing the fall gnome first, but like I said, after thinking about it, I decided to go with Santa first. And since this is the outside of the hat, that's where we wanna place the hot glue because we want the seam of the hat to be on the inside. So once we fold it over and adhere the sides together, the seam will then be on the inside of the hat versus the outside. For this fall gnome, I wanted to go a bit of a different route with the top of the hat instead of tying it off. I wanted to kind of fold it over because I had an idea and inspiration of where I wanted to go with this and I wanted to stick with the theme of kind of burlap, burlap spit it out Kelly and twine. And so yeah, just by folding it over here on the back, it's gonna be neat, it's not gonna show. I'm gonna bring the top of this hat to a point. When I measured out my triangle, I really just kind of measured it by the width of the hat and that was the size that I needed and then just using a ruler and a sharpie like I said earlier I just kind of eyeballed it and I was able to get two triangles out of one cutting mat one out of one old cutting mat that I was gonna throw away I love that I didn't have to throw this away then again with this one on the back side I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue and just place it right inside my fall gnome hat just like this now, when I told you that Dollar Tree has an amazing selection of burlap leaves and the colors are amazing, I wasn't lying. I always pick these up because they are great to DIY with. And so for this one, I'm gonna use all of the colors. And I am going with the larger leaves for this. I didn't use the smaller ones because I just wasn't feeling it. But I feel like if you have the smaller ones, it'll work. You just need a bit more and I didn't have enough. And again, I wanted to use what I had in my stash. And so just kind of taking all of the colors and hot gluing them down in whatever order, it's really gonna give it that fall festive feel that I'm going for with a rustic twist because it's all burlap. 
the brim of this hat needs a little something. So I figured I'd use this burlap and twine ribbon that you can get from Dollar Tree. It wasn't quite thick enough and so I figured, heck, I'll just go with two rows and it'll get the job done. And heck, why not? Since I've got this ribbon out, I'll finish the top of this hat off with that too, covering, I guess, the fraying of the burlap. Oh yeah, that's the finishing touch that this hat needed, but we are not done yet. For this gnome nose, try to say that three times really fast, I'm gonna use the bottom half of my mushroom. So you can see that this is out of order because I've obviously already used the top of the mushroom for my Santa nose, but I thought that the bottom of this mushroom was gonna make such a cute, funny, funky nose for a gnome. It was perfect. It really is utilizing both parts of this mushroom and I love it when things come together like that, don't you? Yeah, wait for it. Oh my word, the excitement, have I said, is really real. Look at how stinking cute this nose is about to look. If that is not a gnome nose, I don't know what is. Oh, so fun. These fall berry picks from Dollar Tree are going to be the perfect addition, the perfect colors, the perfect everything for this hat. These are such fun pieces. Tell me which one you liked better. Did you like the fall or did you like Santa? I like them both. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Christy Chester who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY pumpkin wall decor plaque. Christy, I am loving how you took the idea and you made it your own. Thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you want to DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Gorgeous, right? I'm not gnomed out yet. I am not all gnomed out. I may be late to the party, jumping on the bandwagon a little bit late, but heck, I have had a pretty rough year and the inspiration wasn't coming to me until the holiday season and around this time of year, it always seems to hit me pretty good. And I tell you, if you're a gnome lover like I am now, you are gonna love some of the DIYs that I have in store for you. Not every DIY that I make is going to be gnome. I do have some amazing fall and Christmas decor DIYs coming up that I can't wait to share with you. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for those. Maybe more pipe cleaner flowers for the holiday season. Huh, maybe some ornaments, who knows? But for now, if you're looking for more DIY inspiration for the fall or maybe Christmas, guess what? You can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to one of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I sure as heck am trying. 